welcome back to the Spidey and Crystal YouTube channel. My name is Crystal and I have a special guest with me today, my mom, Lorna Kaidivai Castillo. She's gonna be showing you guys how to make one of our family traditional dishes called Hawaiian ham. It was passed on to my mom from my grandma, Grandma Edith, to my mommy, and now she passes it on to me. And it's a really, really good and easy dish that you can make for Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, or even a special occasion. And it's so yummy. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we gotta open the ham up which um, we got this ham from Bonds or Ralph's, but a lot any of- Any grocery store. Yeah, any grocery store will have this. Just make sure it has to be canned ham. <laughs> Come out. Come on. There, there we go. go. Awesome. Put that aside. And then now we have cloves to put on it, and it's whole cloves. And again, you can get this at any grocery store too, Ralph's. Sometimes you can score and get it at the 99 cent store or uh, I think it's the green, green tree, tree, dollar tree, dollar tree. I always call it the green tree because it's green and it's the dollar tree, but it's green. So I always call it the green tree. And you're randomly putting cloves on the ham. You don't have to fill it all with cloves, just random. Maybe about 10 to 12. Now, if you don't have cloves, you do not have to use them. I've done some Hawaiian hams where I didn't have the, or I couldn't find the whole cloves, so I just did it without. So again, this is optional. Okay, and then the next step that I do, um, I, I use the apricot pineapple and preserves. And you can get the larger jar if you have a bigger ham to cook. Uh, my mom, my, which is uh, Crystal's grandma, she made these uh, Hawaiian baked ham uh, for all of our Thanksgiving and holiday dinners. And it was so much fun watching her cook. So my sister also um, cooks the Hawaiian baked ham also. So, And you can also use different hams too if you don't want to use the canned ham. But you just unscrew this. Let me get a and then a We are going to put our pineapples. pineapples. Get pineapple slices. Or if you want to go above and beyond and get a whole pineapple and then cut slices, then go for it. But we usually just do this. Yeah, it just and makes it easier. And just put it on the quicker. top. It's so good too. You can actually eat these two with your Hawaiian ham when they're after they're baked. My mom's just yeah. correcting me. <laughs> That's what parents do. <laughs> So here we go. Okay. And then again, I put some I put on some the on side. the side. Like try to use all of the pineapples. Oh, no, they don't all have to go on the top because really what you're just doing is like um this is additional flavor to the ham that's yeah. gonna be soaked into the ham and it's so yummy. <laughs> and then the next step is our brown sugar. So yes, it's definitely nice and sweet. And it's one cup, one cup of brown sugar. Yeah, one After that, we are now going to put it preheat. into the oven. Yes, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So 350 degrees, and we are gonna put this in the oven, and then when we come back, you're gonna see the result of it being baked and all of its yumminess and awesomeness. Yay! And then we're just gonna cover it and it'll be baked for an hour. Oh, sorry, I forgot that step. We have to cover it. Yes. 
so you have to cover it. If you don't have a cover for your pan, put foil over it. That can work too. Yes. All right, here we go. Thank you. After one hour at 350 degrees, you will remove the ham from the oven. Please be careful as it will be hot. Uncover the ham, smell the ham, and we hope you enjoy this family tradition as we pass this on to you.